Hey, I just um, wanted to share with you a quick, it can be 5 or 10 minute ab workout, depending on how many times you want to um, go through and do the moves. I'm just going to show you a couple of simple moves that are great ab workouts to do after some cardio. So I just ran a mile, now I'm going to work my abs. Well, I already did, but I'm going to do it again for you. So I would do some cardio and then do the ab workout. You can make it as long as you want. So, I am using a five pound um, dance skin ball. You can use a weight or nothing. Um, and when I do this move, I keep my feet up because if they're flat, then it just puts pressure on your legs and um, you're using your legs to come up and not your abs. So, heels up. Make sure you have room behind you. And you just come down and then come up. And what you do when you come up is you actually throw it. So when you come up and you throw it, it's thrusting. Your muscles are really tightening up, and it's going to work that those lower abs. So you can go fast. You can go slow. Let's see. This way. Okay. Ready? You can do as many as you want. I always recommend doing um, 15, at least 15. If you want to do a heavier weight, you can do less, but you can go slow. Or you can go fast. Whatever you're in the mood for. Okay, and then here's a workout that I just love. This one works also. Slow and fast. I like to start out slow and then I like to go fast. So put one um, leg down, one out. So then you take the ball here. And what you're going to do is you're going to lift this leg up as well. So you're like this. You just switch it. Okay. And you go slow. You go fast. If you can't keep both of your legs up, or if you want to go a little faster, keep your leg down, okay? You want to get more of a workout, have your um, legs come in more, okay? Then you're working more of your obliques in the side as you do that. No matter how you do it, you're going to get a great workout. Um, Another one that I like to do is I like to leave one leg in the air with my heel up and then just press up. Your goal is to try to touch your foot, but you want to come straight up. You don't want to bend. You want to use just your abs to come. And then you want to keep your feet flexed because then you're also working on the back of your legs. And you want to make sure that you keep on your heels. If you put your foot flat, you're actually going to be using your psoas muscle instead of your abs. Okay? So then you have to do the other side. Make sure you always keep things even. Okay. Now for the last one. Um... We're just going to simply keep our legs up and rotate. If you can't, if you are a beginner, go like this. It's fine. If you like to, um, if you're not a beginner or you want to just um, have a more intense workout, lift your legs up. Just make sure that you keep your feet flexed and you do an even number. Okay. So that's going to be it for my ab workout. This is a great workout to um, supplement the cardio. So go run a mile, come back, and do the ab workout. You can do it as many times as you want. You can do it one time. Um, I would start out with 15 reps on each side and make sure you stay even. And if you don't have one of these medicine balls, you can use the bigger stability ball. It might be a little harder if you're a beginner, or you can use a weight. Or no weight and just work up to it. So have fun. 
and enjoy your workout.